is James Roberts. I'm the founder of Mum Incubators and we are developing a low-cost solution to neonatal care. I was in my final year of university and in a, my design school in Loughborough and we were given the brief of design something that solves a problem. It just so happened that on the TV that day there was a BBC Panorama doc, uh, documentary about Syria and the war crisis out there. They had a five minute segment about how because they lack this simple piece of medical equipment, namely incubators, they are effectively losing an entire generation and I just thought that would be a really interesting kind of design problem to try and solve. I had a lot of opposition actually, a lot of people said it just can't be done. In incubators haven't been innovated in for nearly a hundred years so I mean there's not much else you can do. But I thought, well, I'm in university, why not give it a go? So the Mum Incubator basically comes into like a flat pack almost, like in two shells. And the idea is that you could put it into care packages for charities originally, but it's very cheap to air freight or sea freight because it's so, the size and because of the weight is so, so, uh, so low. So the idea is you get it to the hospital where, it's need, where it needs to be and the I guess the midwife there, or the nurse on duty, would inflate it when it's needed and it becomes the size of a regular incubator. And it just gives the most basic functions of what a child would need. So it's not meant to have the, uh, it's not meant to be a hundred thousand pound incubator, it's just meant to give the absolute necessities that are, absolutely, are actually missing in a lot of countries nowadays. That shouldn't really be happening, to be honest, at the moment. I went to um, a hospital called Malago, which is in Kampala. And they had a room maybe the size of your kitchen and they had a hundred neonates in it at the time and to three staff members it was just ridiculous and 20 of the 25 incubators were broken another three of them weren't calibrated properly um, and they take up a lot of space so anything that you can get that can be flat packed down and not in use or be put, placed on some other kind of like bedding or something it's just really useful out there it's a design challenge that you wouldn't even think of one of the biggest lessons that i've learned throughout all of this, especially if you want to try and make your own startup, is build a good team around you, because it's all about the people who are around you to push it forward. I couldn't do this without my co-founder. I couldn't do this without my medical advisors helping me out. I couldn't do this without the mentors that I've got who really believe in the product and who are giving me that kind of advice that means that instead of spending six months on something, I can spend an hour and they can point me in exactly the right direction to go to. And I think startup accelerators are really useful as well. They give you that kind of that, that jump needed to be able to speak to people who are actually in the industry.